Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to Rad Kutarot, it's Rad, and in this whole video um, I'm going to check on um, the experience that Cancer is going to have into the upcoming week, which is October 26th to uh, November 1st, 2020. And uh, should you be interested in a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below uh, for the link to my website, uh, from which as well you can uh, sign up for tarot classes in case you are feeling that tarot kind of like pulls you or uh, what was the word, uh, you are drawn to it and uh, you want to learn it. For everybody can can do tarot. So that being said, moving to the spread straight away, um, it's uh, eight card spread divided on two layers. The upper layer of the spread is going to describe your feelings, your emotions, and as well, well we're looking, you can consider it as a relationship, kind of like a layer of the spread. And the downer layer is going to touch on the professional manifestation that you are to have cancer, which reflects on the career, uh, job, etc etc so just to make the things easier on myself i i am going to do it layer by layer instead of turning all of the cards around because just gonna get confused right so let's do the uh relationship layer first we do have the the hierophant followed by the ten of a cups moving next we do have the eight of swords and the last one is going to be the seven um the seven of pentacles so uh throughout the week the pace of how your relationship life is going to slow down a bit uh that will be because you are going to choose that way for what it seems a certain i can't say really red flags because they can't they may not be red flags but certain things are going to really come up to your attention that you will have to consider them, uh, consider them and you will have to think about them very, very carefully uh, in regards to your current relationship or to your current uh, suitor and so on and so forth. Um, as with the Hierophant, uh, how can I say things need to, in terms of relationship that is, and in terms of love, things needs to base themselves on mutual reliability and as well uh, mutual trust that you are to have into one another and that is what you are going to try to identify if i may say it that way can i trust the person i'm in love with can i trust the person the trust i'm sorry the person i i like i'm attracted to um or even you you can go even deeper than that can i trust myself that could be also a question that you will try to find an answer to throughout the week. Uh, for as the Hierophant stands here into the prime of the layer, at the very first position of the layer, it does speak the true trust, um, the meaning of, of the new definition of love is going to come about. Not that teenager type of love that makes your stomach turn it's over you know and the butterflies that you do feel there but the love that breeds sense of peace sense of serenity sense of a security and that's why we do have the ten of cups into the second position for that is the realization that no matter how good the things are right now they can always get better or they can always get worse uh, and you have to find yourself forewarned you know what may happen moving forward with your relationship or moving forward with your uh, life of, of being single for example you may start thinking of what kind of people you may get yourself involved with that may hurt you and therefore restrain yourself of finding those kind of people that's why we do have the eight of swords into the third position of the spread which pretty much speaks that you're going to reach to some kind of a stereotype some kind of criteria okay some so, some kind of i can't say really idea but let's say truth and it's going to be your truth in terms of a relationship and everything that does not fall into this truth it may be good it may be bad it doesn't matter it is just incompatible with you and uh, by the end of the week uh, we can see you uh, cancer here with the seven of pentacles 
Uh, Seven of Pentacles is this card, especially when it comes to, well, it doesn't matter where it, where it comes to career or relationship, but it is the card where a person, the subject of the reading, you in that particular case, it's uh, very conservative in the sense of that, you know, you are going to give whatever you get and not a sh single shred more than that. And here you are going to stand to the standpoint not to get or vow to yourself, if you will, not to get yourself involved into a toxic relationships, which you are going to be able to achieve by the stereotypes you are to reach into because the, found, the foundation, the, the virtue of the foundation, um, trust and mutual reliability. Now, uh, in a some um, I, I was about to say spectacular. You know, some unique cases, those cards could speak about a, uh, a very open and profound uh, conversations that you may lead with your person of interest or with your partner, you know, uh, and the, 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 uh, the truth will be revealed to how far they are willing to go with it. Is this relationship just you know, something that they find, you know, amusing and they do not put much of a value into it? Or is this relationship the uh, everything that they have ever wanted? For example, I'm going into the two extremes here. And as you do know that answer by the end of the week, you are going to give appropriately. So if for them that relationship, it is like, you know, a thing that they can easily dispose of, it will become the same thing for you. And we can see pretty much an open relationship. If it is a relationship that they put everything into, then you are going to start putting everything into as well. Um, and uh, for those that are, that are single, I pretty much already said it, it is that they are going to build up a stereotype that will help them not to get themselves involved into a toxic relationships. So moving next to the um, professional manifestation here, which is uh, starting with the uh, lion or with the strength card. Moving next, we do have the five of eight cups. Uh, followed by the five of wands and the next one, the last one is going to be the four of pentacles. Oh, man. Right. So, in terms of uh, career, there will be something happening there that it's, it does not, what well, it does concern you, but I will say it that way, uh, it will be a bad thing, but it is not your fault. However, it does concern you directly. And the first reaction that you are going to have, it's like, well, you know what? It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. And the sooner you realize that it is a big deal, the sooner you are get it under control. For yourself, that is. For it's going to affect many, many people, okay, and many, many say positions into your job but every man is for himself everybody needs to deal with it in their own way and those who are in denial and say you know that's that's not a big deal really i mean it's just it's just gonna go away on its own accord uh, even if it does the damage that is going to inflict upon your position upon your project and so on and so forth is going to be pretty much devastating so that's why you have to uh, acknowledge the threat and the menace straight away and, and uh, address it and that's all that you gotta do for with the four with the five of ones here into the third position that card speaks that you are not just only gonna have the resources but also you are gonna have the fortune to be able to deal with it. The week is gonna be very dynamic. You will have, with the strength here on the prime of the um, professional manifestation, you're also gonna have the appropriate time management, the appropriate, uh, if that's an expression in English, enthusiastic management as well, being enthusiastic more to one, toward one thing into another rather than the other, and that's, uh, enthusiasm will pretty much boost your performance where that performance needs to be boosted at and based on that you will be able to deal with the thing with the crisis if I may say it that way with ease but only if you do acknowledge it for the five of cups into the second position pretty much points that when it happens that particular crisis 
uh, you're gonna like I said you're gonna think well you know I'm not gonna die from it it's not a big deal uh, and things are gonna get back to normal rather sooner than later and that will be a wrong standpoint the loss is severe the disappointment is severe and if you are in a denial once again it's not just gonna serve you well uh, should you however address the um, the crisis we can see you by the end of the week here where you are to ensure your certain future into your career uh, how you're gonna do it but it, it depends on your uh, on your performance you manage with the crisis you prove yourself very good asset you do nothing you prove yourself as a worthless asset and you still ensure your certain future of not being a part of the company because that's a certain future as well okay but Bottom line is that whatever you build or whatever impression you engrave throughout the week is there to stay into the company and not just only into the company, but also into the career narrative that you are trying to prove yourself, say that you are a jobless. And as we are going to those that are jobless throughout the week, with the five of ones, uh, jobs are going to pop up here and there even if you're not looking for them, okay? Uh, but it is very important throughout the week to uh, be honest with yourself how much you can handle. For with the strength card, sitting at the prime, having the five of cups, you may get yourself involved in a job that may prove itself to be a pretty big piece for you to, to pretty much swallow down. And once you sign up with the four of pentacles, there isn't going, uh, going out for probably they're going to bind you with some kind of a contract. Uh, even if you do decide to sever that contract, you will have to pay penalties or you will have to endure penalties. So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly general tarot readings, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them. And uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.